Give it up for starting from scratch and DJ Spinbad, ladies and gentlemen. Just so you guys know, that's actually what DJs are supposed to do. You see how they were DJing and they weren't looking at you? Because they were fucking DJing. <laughs> I know a lot of you spend money to go see these so-called DJs that stand there in big arenas like this and their arms are in the air. <laughs> they better be DJing with their dick right now. That's all I'm saying, because... If your arms are in the air, who the fuck is playing the music? That's like you spending money to come see me, and then I put on a DVD and go. <laughs> Stand there making hand hearts. <laughs> uh, good to be back here. How are you, buddy? I can't tell if you're white or not. Um, <laughs> It's not that easy anymore, you know? Back in the day, when you see a white person, you knew they were white immediately. When I was a kid, if I saw a white person, I didn't have to ask. If I was like, are you white? They'd be like, what the fuck else would I be? <laughs> but now you need to confirm. What are you, sir? Are you white? You, even you hesitated. <laughs> you had to go through your own lineage. Be like, I'm a... <laughs> Apparently I am, yes. I... Because you're not regular white, you got like hairy immigrant arms, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like a shot of those, you get those? You're missing the arm cue, it's right there. Oh, look at that thing, Jesus, that is, that's, that's not proper white, buddy, I don't know. That's, uh, that's Italian or Greek or something, I don't know what's going on there. Where are your parents from? UK. UK, oh, okay, so, yeah, that's pretty white. Uh, <laughs> That, in fact, is the benchmark. <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> you are a hairy, one hairy Englishman, I'll tell you that. <laughs> fee fi fo fum <laughs> I smell the hair of an Englishman. <laughs> uh... You know why you gotta ask nowadays? I was in uh, Florida. You guys ever go to Florida in the U.S.? If you go to Florida, everybody in Florida looks like everybody in this room until they open their mouth. Spanish flies right out of their mouth. Like, not like a little bit of Spanish. Like, you could tell that that's all their thoughts, everything they do is in Spanish. You know how you could tell when you say hello to them? You can see your hello enter their head. You're like, hello, and you see it go, hello, equals, hola. Reply with hello. <laughs> and you know that their hello started with a J. That's the best part, you know? <laughs> hello. It's not just a greeting, it's my favorite dessert. <laughs> it sucks for me. I like, I like the Spanish language, but if you go to a place where all they do is speak Spanish, uh, and, and they should be speaking English. <laughs> it gets annoying. Because they see the brown skin, they just assume something's going on. They just, everywhere I go in Florida, they're like, Oye, Cubano! Oye! Listen up there, fucking Fernando. I don't want to dance right now. First of all, we're at a gas station. This is really awkward. <laughs> When I told the guy, I go, I, I'm, uh, I, go oh, I don't speak Spanish. He goes, what kind of fucking Latino don't speak Spanish? <laughs> when I told the guy I wasn't Latino, he reacted like a guy who bought a hooker and found out it was a guy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, uh, no, no, I'm not Latino. What the fuck are you? <laughs> Pointed at my dick when he did it. Just, what the fuck is that? I like Spanish, it just gets annoying when everybody's speaking it to you. Everybody, hola, hola, como estas, hola. I got annoyed, I, I was getting fed up. I walked into a store, I saw an Indian guy with a turban, I got all excited. <laughs> I was like, thank God, my people. I go, how you doing, man? He goes, hola. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Can't speak Spanish with Indian head motions? It doesn't work like that. Que paso?
been traveling a lot on this tour. That's the fun thing about uh, being on the road, is going to countries I'd never been to. I, uh, I was in Thailand. I know a lot of you have been to Thailand. It's not far from here. Well, I like how a lot of you don't want to admit you've been to Thailand, because <laughs> you're fucking perverts, that's why. Uh, <laughs> Thailand's great. When I go to countries I've never been to, you know what I like to do? I like to experience what they're famous for. Not ladyboys, you filthy pirates, <laughs> all right? Um, I was in Bangkok. <laughs> um, it doesn't, you know what's funny about Bangkok? It, it, it doesn't matter how old you get. When you hear Bangkok, you'll giggle every time. I, 42 years old, I'm like, Bangkok. Because <laughs> you start thinking about the origin of names, right? And you start trying to figure out how they came up with that name, like they were having a meeting in Thailand. They were like, we need a name for the city. Okay, quick lunch break, we come back. What happened? Ah, uh, Bangkok. <laughs> kind of makes you wonder how they came up with a name for the island of Phuket, you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you want to call that island? I don't know, fuck it, whatever, just uh... I went to, uh, when I was in Bangkok, I wanted to, uh, I went for a Thai massage. That's what else they're famous for. <laughs> just so you guys know, if you go to Thailand, you want a Thai massage, just say you want a massage, not a Thai massage, because they understand that it's already Thailand. <laughs> but I didn't know, one of my friends was telling me about the uh, Thai massages. It's actually customary over there for the lady giving you the massage to, uh, Not shoot dice, I mean, uh, finish you off. And I was like, well, all right. And I, I just, just out of curiosity, I was like, well, why do they do that? Not that I'm opposed to it, I just want to know why. And he goes, uh, oh, because, you know, they give you this great massage and you're relaxed all over your whole body, except for dead center, you're stiff. And then he was like, well, when is a man most relaxed? Right after, <laughs> right? <laughs> And then you add a great massage onto that, and you're just fucking jello when you leave. <laughs> you can tell who's had a massage. Everybody walking through the streets of Bangkok. Hey, guys, all right. <laughs> Is he hammered? No, he had a great massage. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll, I'll try it out. So I went for my massage, and uh, just uh, my luck, I'm not making this up, just my luck, when I was there, they had just passed a law saying that these women weren't allowed to, uh, they were no longer allowed to finish you off with their hands. And they weren't gonna start blowing everybody, it's not that kind of party, you know what I mean? Because even when they do finish you off with their hands, it's not done like, you know, outside of Thailand. Like, over here it'll be considered dirty. Everyone's like, hey man, you wanna go to Rub and Tug? You know, it's like, it always has that gross undertone to it. Like you go to a Rub and Tug and the, the lady's talking shit to you, oh, so big, you know? And, and she's taking her time and you know. Not over there, it has nothing to do with sexuality. It's just like to, you know, to relax you. So they've got it down to like two pumps and like ding, ding, get out. You know what I mean? Like, they don't care how big, how small, they're like just ding, ding, get out. You know what I mean? So, so I'm trying to figure out what's gonna happen when I go for my massage. So I go, what happens? He goes, I don't know. I go, well, you're going to find out. And I go, all right. I go, will they still finish me off? Probably, but I don't know how. I go, all right, great. So I go for my massage. This cute little Thai lady, she gives me this great massage down my back, down my legs, down my feet, up my legs, up my chest. And then she gets to my hog. And I know something's going to happen, right? But I don't know what. So I just tilt my head back and relax, right? And I feel a wonderful sensation on my wiener. <laughs> And I'm thinking maybe she's doing the old, you know, like the elbow crease. I don't know, like, I say the old like it's a move or something, but like, it, I mean, I've never had a girl go, ooh, you like that? No, I don't know, right? I'm just saying. I'm thinking maybe she's doing it with her feet, which I like, you know what I mean? I like women's feet, that works for me, right? So, so I'm like, I, I feel this great sensation, so my curious side wants to see what's happening. So I look up, and I swear to God she's doing this. She's giving me the best wrist job I've ever had in my life. 
Like, I didn't know you could do that with a wrist. <laughs> I went back to my hotel room that night because it felt so good. I, was, I thought I'd give it a shot, you know? <laughs> Just sitting at the edge of my bed, I'm like, all right. <laughs> Just a note, fellas, if you're gonna try this tonight, <laughs> Uh, take your watch off. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Don't be the reason you have a Bangkok. <laughs> I was in the Middle East. Where are the Arabs at tonight, Arabs? It's a, it's a lot of Arabs. It's a dangerous amount. Uh, <laughs> what style of Arab are you guys here? A lot of ice! <laughs> What the fuck is Lebanese? Um, is that some sort of hamburger topping that I don't know about? <laughs> yeah, mate, how you going? Let me get a, uh, let me get a hamburger. That's, that's my impression of you guys. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what the fuck it, it makes me laugh. Hey, how you going, mate? No worries, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Are you a particularly high-strung bunch of people that you have to tell everybody, no worries, stop worrying, mate, all right? You Are you worried? Because no worries, all right, yeah, yeah. I also feel like I should shove carrots in your mouth when you're talking to me. Hey, how you going, mate? <laughs> no worries. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be. Crikey. <laughs> Lebanese. <laughs> Let me get the uh, ketchup and some Lebanese on that, please. <laughs> oh, what's Lebanese? It's lemon and mayonnaise. That's it. Uh, <laughs> why don't they call it Lemonese? Lebanese sounds better. <laughs> My Lebanese friends, have you ever gone back to Beirut? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I've partied all over the world, and by far, without trying to suck up to you guys, because I'm scared. <laughs> but out of all the places I've been to in the world, Beirut parties like you've never seen before. <laughs> like they, they literally party like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> there could very well be over there, you know what I mean? You've never seen chain smoking. Like you, like, you go to Beirut, you see chain smokers. Toss chain smokers, light up a cigarette, finish, and throw it on the ground, and start another one. Lebanon, three at a time. <laughs> Literally, one this hand, one this hand, and like one of those fake blue ones for safety. You know what I mean? And I'm like, dude, aren't you worried about getting cancer? I will never die of cancer. <laughs> Do you have the cure? The Yehudis will kill me well before the cancer can. I don't have to worry about that cancer. Cancer, AIDS, no disease will get me, don't worry. <laughs> I know what the problem is in the Middle East. My Arab friends, listen up. Here's how to start change over there. Here's what the first problem is. Arab men will never say, no, I don't know. <laughs> they will never say no, and they will never admit to not knowing something. It somehow emasculates an Arab man to not know something. It doesn't matter what it is. If he doesn't know, he'll make up a story and he will yell it at you. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you ask him. It could be something as simple as, hey, uh, do you know how to make a cake? Because I... Yes, of course. <laughs> Everybody knows how to make cake. <laughs> really? Because uh, I, I don't know how to make a cake. Could you show me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know how you can tell when an Arab guy's lying? He'll start his uh, answer off with, okay. That's the fucking tip off. When you know he's lying, right then. Because I'm like, really? I don't know how to make a cake. How do you make a cake? Okay. <laughs> First, you get cake. <laughs> then you make it for 20 minutes. <laughs> then you have cake. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I don't think that's how you make cake. That is the only way to make cake! <laughs> They have been making cake like that since the beginning of time. I'm like, all right, don't get crazy. I'm just asking. It's true. It doesn't matter what you ask them. It, whatever they, if they don't know, they will make up a story. 
And, it's, and this, this really happened to me last year. I was in Dubai. I was in uh, Bloomingdale's, the department store, the American department store. So clearly, there's a problem with the Jews and the Arabs. So I'm in Bloomingdale's. I'm looking to leave the store. I, I'm looking for an escalator. I see a security guy stand there. I walk up and I go, hi, is there an escalator in here? Yes. Uh, do you know where it is? Yes, of course. Do you think you could tell me where it is? <laughs> yes. Fucking tell me then, right? <laughs> okay. 